Hello, everyone. My name is Yukoto Mizuka. I'm Global Real Estate Investment Advisor. I have 30 years of experience and I analyze more than 20,000 properties, not only in Japan, but also other countries. Today, I'd like to speak something about the residential market. Why does Japanese brand new residential rent decrease? The, in Japan, the brand new residential rent is the highest and gradually start decreasing. Why is so? What the reason behind it? I'm going to explain. The question, in Japan, the brand new apartment rent is the highest and gradually start decreasing, as I said, and the property gets less marketable. In other major mar market and major cities in the world, the rental value increases as time passes. Of course, you agree, right? Reflecting price index. Why has the rental value in Japan always been in declining trend? For the answer, I just picked up the five more convincing answers. Number one, deflation. Number two, economic maturity. Number three, the functional deterioration of the asset. Number four, decreasing demography. Number five, easy scrap and build environment. Let me explain one by one. The first deflation. Can you see this trans transition of CPI index? CPI since say 1994, almost flat, the no change. So since the early hazy bubble collapse in 1990, Japan has been suffering deflation economy and even though the central bank has launched the economic bazooka to boost the economy to create the inflation as well as the GDP growth, Japan has been unsuccessful to create them. This has affected the real estate industry and kept the rental value almost no growth. The reason number two, mature economy. They look at the GDP growth. GDP has uh, looks always flat. Japan's actual GDP has not grown that much since 1990 and got into the mature market under the growing and developing economy. People enjoy the high economic growth and imagine High net worth social classes contribute to surge the rental value increase as they lead the high end residential sectors. Nevertheless, looking at Japan, we haven't evidenced such phenomena since Heisei bubble in late 90, in late 80s. People's salary has not increased that much, or a lot of actual house income has been decreasing, and therefore rental value for the apartment looks hard to surge again. Number three, functional deterioration. And this is quite distinct in Japan. In 60s and 70s, Japan took modernized design and architecture features a lot from Western countries. Even though those features looked very advanced and modern at that time, as time passes, those got old fashioned or outdated in the market. For instance, arc hills or hello or garden hills, which have been well performed, well preferred apartment as expat residency center in Tokyo. The ceiling height of them look a bit low compared to recently built ones. And therefore, the rent of those apartments get less marketable, actually, and unfortunately. Number four, aging society and demographic decrease. In 60s and 70s, to fulfill the increased demography, Japan encouraged a lot of urban city development according to the national master plan. For instance, Tama New Town, located in the west side of Greater Tokyo area, had had a large demographic increase till 2002. However, as population turned into stabilized and saturated stage, now new entrance to those region cities started declining. Now around 25% of the residents are in their retirement age no new entrance that the rental value in such demographic such destinations that are exposed to the less population and the aging society would obviously decrease unless the, the area starts accepting the foreigners as immigration. So the reason number five is easy scrap and build environment. As to the middle size residence apartment in B location in Tokyo, generally speaking, the demolition of existing facility takes a couple of months, not so difficult. The planning and the building permission takes another couple of months. And then new construction takes six months to one year maximum. The, every procedure looks so secured, quick and reliable, and the availability of uh, finance 
and the cheap interest rate. Therefore, owners tend to choose scrap and build strategy. When the property gets old and less marketable, as a result, considerable amount of brand new properties are always in the market. They're making old ones less and less marketable. So those are the reasons why Japanese brand new residential rent is the highest and start decreasing. So this is a key and tri tricky part when it comes to residential investment. Should you have more queries or doubts, please email me. This is my background. As I said, I'm Global Real Estate Investment Advisor. I started my career at Japan Real Estate Institute, the country's largest and oldest real estate appraisal and consulting firm. Then studied abroad and came back here, joined several financial institutions. So I advise the global financial institutions there, here. And now I based in Okinawa, the southern part of Japan, and are uh, supported the global investors, not only institutions, but also family offices.